Okay, the live is up. Sergeant, would you start your recording? Okay, the computer started. Okay. Cloud has started. Backup and is rolling. And Keith, will you start your opening statement? Yes, thank you. Good morning and welcome to remote hearing on subcommittee zoning and franchises. Will council members and staff please turn on a video at this time? Once again, will council members and staff please turn on a video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruptions, please place all cell phones and electronics to vibrate. You may send your testimony to testimony at council.nyc.gov. Once again, that's testimony at council.nyc.gov. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you and uh, good morning. I'm Council Member Francisco Moya, Chair of the Subcommittee on Zoning and Franchises. I'm joined remotely today by Council Members Ayala, Borelli, uh, Barry G, and Council Member Chin. Uh, today we will vote on items heard by the subcommittee at our April 5th meeting. We will vote to approve with modifications uh, LU 753 and 754 and the pre-considered LU 763 from the Sudam Street rezoning proposal relating to property in Council Member Reynoso's district in Brooklyn. The proposal seeks zoning map and zoning text amendments and a zoning special permit to facilitate the development of a new 100% affordable housing residential building with approximately 95 dwelling units at uh, 1250 Willoughby Avenue along with the enlargement of an existing industrial building at 349 uh, Sudam Street. Our modification will be to strike the MIH option two and add deep affordability option while retaining MIH option one. Council member Reynoso is in support of the proposal as modified. And we will also vote to approve with modifications LU 770 and 771 for the Governor's Island rezoning proposal relating to property in council member Chin's district. The proposal seeks a zoning, uh, the proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change an existing R32 district to a C41 district and related zoning text amendment to modify the existing special governor's island district by establishing a new sub districts for the north and south portions of the island and new provisions applicable within the proposed south island sub district. Uh, our modifications would reduce the proposed uh, overall density by capping the aggregated aggregate uh, floor area at uh, 3,000 at 3,777 square feet allowing a full build out of the floor area in the southern subdistrict only in the provision of use group three and four community facility use exclusively for uh, of ambulatory diagnostic or treatment health facilities cap the hotel and office space use in the southern uh, subdistrict limit permitted uh, obstructions in the open space sub area to no more than 20 percent and such obstructions will be included in the aggregate floor area calculations uh, prohibit a CPC uh, authorizations to increase uh, to increase allowed use in the open space sub areas uh, significantly reduce building height to 200 feet or below except for one parcel at 225 feet uh, change bulk rates to match reduced space heights and reduce bicycle and require bicycle parking in accordance with applicable zoning and for use not specified in zoning at a rate of one per 10,000 square feet of floor area. Council Member Chin is in support of the proposed uh, as the proposal is modified, uh, and I want to congratulate Council Member Chin on achieving these modifications. Uh, and I invite her uh, to provide some remarks uh, related to additional comments for the Governor's Island Trust. Council Member Chin. Good morning. Thank you, Chair Moyer, um, for allowing me to speak on uh, on this uh, rezoning item and also to. Um, the members of the subcommittee. Um, good morning. Governor's Island is a New York City treasure and it is home to unique facilities and buildings that define the island's history. And throughout the many months of discussion and negotiation with the Trust for Governor's Island, it has been my top priority that the island retain its open and organic atmosphere and that it continues to provide families with an affordable and accessible place to picnic and to relax. I hope every New Yorker has the, have the opportunity to ride the ferry and visit Governor's Island. Some of the aspects of this proposal that I am most excited about are the amenities, 
that I believe define Governor's Island. New commitments of securing a permanent location for compost processing, expanding ferry services, and ensuring uses in the open space sub area align with those in the public parkland are so important to the character of Governor's Island. I am pleased that the modification includes large reduction in density. And in some cases, building heights is scaled down by 100 feet. From the beginning of this rezoning process, it was important to me that this process not only have development for the eastern and western section of the island, but also for the long-term stability of the future of the island that will include expansion of our educational facility at the Harbor School. I thank every New Yorkers who have been following this process. And I want to speak to some of the concern that we have heard from local residents, community board, and our Manhattan Borough president. During this negotiation process, we were able to secure, as Chair Moyer talked about, uh, a reduction in the density with the FAR, reducing the square footage by 500,000 square feet and a, and a, at a cap of 3,775,000 square feet. And the open sub area uh, will be aligned with the public park land. Uh, permitted obstruction will occupy no more than 20% of the open space sub area. Height and buildings throughout the southern area will be significantly lower than the original proposed ranges from 125 feet to 225 feet compared to the original of 250 to 300. And then we will have bicycle parking required um, for the site and even working with City Bike to increase the number of docks and bikes for the island. Expansion of the Harbor School that will include 18 classrooms and approximately 400 seats, including a gym and a pool uh, that the students so wanted to have and allowing Earth Matter New York and Urban Farm Grow NYC to continue operation on Governor's Island in the long term. The trust has extended uh, the Earth Matters license for a five year term on its existing site through 2026. And there will be expanded ferry service to Governor's Island. I wanna stress that the modified proposal in front of the committee today is the products of hours and hours of discussion with the trust. And I want to especially thank our council's land use team, Raju Mann, Chelsea Kelly, and Ang Angelina Martinez Rubio for their hard work and their expertise and their support. I also appreciate the time that they have put dedicated to this. And I'm so happy that we can see it moving forward. Also wanted to thank uh, Sean Fitzpatrick from the mayor's office, as well as members of the Trust for Governors Islands team, Claire Newman, Sarah uh, uh, Kraustein, Chris Tamper, Wesley O'Brien, and Melanie My uh, Myers, and also my uh, land use director, Anthony Drummond, with those hours and hours of meeting, uh, my chief of staff, Gigi Lee, and my deputy chief of staff, uh, Connor Irvin. Um, this has been a long process, and I really appreciate all the support that I got uh, from the council, from my colleague. And I just want to say again, from the council's land use uh, team, it's just been so uh, fantastic. And I really urge my colleague on this subcommittee uh, to support this rezoning plan. And I hope that all of you will have uh, some time during the summer or to go out and really visit for yourself to see what truly a treasure uh, Governor's Island is to our city. Thank you very much, Chair Moya. Thank you, and again, congratulations, Council Member Chen. I know how hard you worked on this, um, so congratulations to you. Um, let me just turn it over to uh, our council to see if there's any uh, members who wish to speak on any of these LUs. Chair, I see no members with uh, hands raised at the moment. Okay. Um, 
Seeing none, I now call for a vote to approve with modifications uh, I have described LU 770, 771, and 753, and 754, and preconceded LU 763. Uh, Council, can you please call the roll? Chair Moya. I vote aye. Councilmember Levin. I vote aye. Councilmember Reynoso. I vote aye. Councilmember Gardenchik. Mary G. You're up. Councilmember Gardenchik, your vote on the land use items. Aye. Sorry about Council that. Councilmember Ayala. Thank you. Councilmember Ayala. I vote aye. Councilmember Borelli. I vote aye. Uh, Chair, by a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the items are approved and recommended to the full land use committee. Thank you, Arthur. And that concludes today's business. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, the subcommittee council, uh, land use, and other council staff, and the sergeant at arms for participating in today's meeting. This meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you.